Hey everyone, Scooby-Doo here with a review and size comparison of a couple different Darth Vaders. I picked up a couple of the Sideshow ones the other day and I wanted to let you guys take a look at them as soon as my camera focuses in. And also show you the other one that I actually already have owned for a while, which is the Metacom. So let me go over which ones I like, which ones I don't like, and why I don't like them or why I do like them. So here's the first one is the Metacom. As you know, Metacom always goes small with their figures. So if you plan on purchasing this Darth Vader as a standalone, then that's fine. Uh, but if you're going to put them with any Hot Toys or Sideshows figures, you want to stay far away from this guy. Because you can see with size comparison with this Sideshow Boba Fett, and I am saying Boba, not Bobo. Uh, you can see that, well actually, he might even be smaller. Two things that I do like about this figure, however, are that you can see the chain for his cape. And his cape itself does have a built-in wire so you can pose it. Other than that, I would stay far away from this Darth Vader. The second Darth Vader, and this is the one that I just purchased and I was talking about on my other video about how I made one of my shelves that was off by an inch. Because I forgot that Darth Vader was a much taller figure. So I had him at 12 and a half when really the Darth Vader is I think around like 13 and a half. So when I purchased him, I thought I might have a little bit of an issue because the Sideshow website had him at 14 inches. No. He is almost 15 inches. He is massive. Which is okay for a Darth Vader. Uh, I do like him. I don't like the fact that you cannot see the chain. It actually goes up underneath his helmet. He does come with just like all the... With all the other figures, it comes with a bunch of different gloves and stuff. So you can look at some other uh, YouTube videos to see exactly how many hands he comes with and stuff. This is just more for size comparison video. And then on to my third, because he was just a little too big for the shelf, but I did need two Darth Vader's, so I decided to go with another sideshow. Not the Hot Toys, because the Hot Toys I did a uh, review on that at the end of last year. That one is garbage. I don't like grabbing a figure. Like, I can grab this one, pick it up, set it back down, no problem. The Hot Toys one, shit was falling off of it. The shin guards were coming off because they were Velcro. The uh, gauntlets that they made for his gloves were Velcro. Just, you know, and then if you wanted to turn it on, you had to take apart part of his outfit. It was just bullshit. So... That's why I'm not even discussing the Hot Toys or I don't have a Hot Toys one. Now here's the third Sideshow one. This one seems to be about the correct height. Let me see. Put him here. There. Take a look at that. That's much better. Also too, this particular uh, Sideshow, opposed to this Sideshow Darth Vader, he actually lights up very easy. There's a switch in the back on his belt. You can turn it on and off. Great size. Uh, they did put a little clip for his chain, for his uh, robe, for his cape. So, uh, although you can't see it because I got the cape pulled back, but trust me, you can see the chain. Uh, everything is great on this one. And not only that, um, this is more like a quality collectible item because they gave you a bunch of stuff. Not only is the box really big and you get a bunch of artwork and stuff inside, they also gave you an alternate head sculpt, you got this really cool light up base, and then you got this little extra uh, helmet, uh, I don't know which one to call it, but in his chamber when he was taking on and off his helmet, you get this extra little piece as well. So this was actually the best deal. Now I think I paid, I'm not sure, uh, I wanna say 220 shipped for this one. Was it 220, 215, somewhere right there? I got a good price on it. This one was 130 shipped. Another good price. This one I just got. You, <laughs> I think I ended up paying like 25 or 30 bucks for it. Uh, so if you're looking for a Darth Vader, this would probably be the one to get. Just don't pay too much for it. Now do take note that it's either Sideshow or Hot Toys is actually coming out with a new Darth Vader. It should actually be out now. I think now you're not going to get all these extra features, but it might be a good uh, Darth Vader figure. The only thing I really didn't like about this is the pants. They kind of fit weird. They kind of 
bunch up right there, but you know, it's not a deal breaker for me. The way I'm going to have him pose is really not going to matter. Now his lightsaber does not light up, just, just his uh, chest piece and then his belt. It's still a good option to have if you want to have it lit up. So there we go. There's all three. If you have any questions or comments regarding any of them, again, I would go with this Sideshow Darth Vader if you were going to purchase one. And I do realize all these came out years ago, so I'm sure if you wanted a Darth Vader, you probably would have already purchased one by now. But if, hey, maybe you're just now starting your collection and you come across my video, get that one. That's the one you're going to be happiest with. Just make sure you don't pay too much. Okay, that's it. Don't forget to like or subscribe or do whatever it is you want to do regarding this video. Uh, I do have the other Boba Fett, and I didn't say Bobo. See, there's a difference. I did purchase the Return of the Jedi one. Should be getting that in a few days, and I'll do a review on that in a size in a side comparison with uh, the Metacom Boba Fett. And then I also have the uh, new Princess Leia coming, and I'm also doing the Jedi Luke figure build. So tune in for that because I'm going to tell you exactly which figures you want to use, what accessories you want to use, and uh, so that way you can build your own. I know there's a lot of different YouTube channels that like show them, but they don't tell you how to build them. Or like I use the Hot Toys, you know, figure, and I use the old sideshow clothing, and I use they don't they don't tell you all that shit. So I'm going to go through step by step and tell you exactly how I build them. Where I, where I got all the pieces after it's all completed. Alright, there we go. This video is long enough. I shall talk to you guys later. You guys have a fantastic week.